Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Zane back at it again with another video. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much back, man. I know you guys are probably thinking, who is this in my subscribe, like, subscribe list popping up? Who the fuck is this in my recommended, man? Who is this guy? He's ancient. He died. No way he's still alive. And yeah, basically, man, we're back, man. We're back. I've been playing Valorant again these days, and it's low-key been fun. I mean, the game is still ass, don't get me wrong. Riot has no idea what they're doing, but... I've been playing again and it's actually been fun. I'm still the best shit in Europe, obviously, and nothing really changed. And yeah, we might be back. I might start to make content again and everything like that. If you guys are hyped for that, you guys have some silver friends that need coaching and need guides. Show them the channel, you know, get them to sub. You already know what's going on. I mean, I'm basically going to start this series and no uh, bullshit guides for everyone that's sick of watching like pro guides and all those YouTube channels making these simple guides that everyone already knows just like my silver to immortal video it's gonna be no bullshit it's gonna be straight to the point and we're gonna be you know i don't know cutting to the chase fairly quickly and just teaching you guys the raw mechanics that you need to get out of your hard stuck pistol you know easy clap so for part number one of the series we're gonna be talking about movement movement in valorant is very 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 similar but not the same to the counter-strike movement if you've ever played CSGO in your life, then, you, you know, getting adapted to Valorant's movement won't be the hardest thing. But at the same time, those little habits you get from Counter-Strike might get you really lost on Valorant. Some people say, yeah, it's the same game. Dude, you're actually, like, you're actually branded. I'm not even capping. It's not the same game. It's a different game. Just because there is guns and bomb sites on both games does not mean it's the same thing. CSGO's movement is very, like, very glidey and very slidey. Compared to Valorant's movement, it's a little bit more chunky and slow. If you've ever played CS, you'll feel like everything is moving in slow-mo when you're playing Val. Like, on Counter-Strike, you feel like you're going so fast. But then on you play Valorant and everyone is moving at snail speed. So, you know, it's a little bit easier. Now, let's get to the first point that every single guide ever tells you to do, counter-strafing. If you notice, oh, look, I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. In Valorant, you don't really need to counter-strafe. It's really not that big of a deal. You either go like this and you counter-strafe, or you can just go and press shift. On a CS, the movement is really glidey. So once you press shift, like you, you're still a little bit, you know, sliding on the floor and it kind of fucks with your aim. But on Val, like if you just stand still, uh, yeah, like you stop holding your key and start shooting, I don't know, there's not much of a difference really. It's like a few milliseconds. I think this one YouTuber, I don't really remember his name, but he tested it. It's only like a few milliseconds fucking faster. This is me counter strafing and then this is me not counter strafing. And honestly, it really is not that big of a deal. If you sit there in the range and you practice counter strafing for nine years and you just can't get it in your head, it's really not that big of a difference. Something else that's really important is a binding jump to scroll wheel. I was always the type of guy, dude, I don't fucking need that. And look, watch me. I'm just going to jump up here with space bar, man. Do you really want to be this guy right now? <laughs> Come on, man. Have you ever watched a Sinatra or a pod clip in your life? You want to go like that. You want to go like whoop, 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 whoop. And you want to be out of out here, like having the movement gap. You know what I feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to hit those nasty B-hop clips and you want to go crazy, right? You don't want to be that guy that does not know what he's doing. And in order to do this, obviously you can do it with jump, like, like jumping with a uh, space, but it's just a uh, way more clunky and it just takes way more time. I basically like, all you have to do is go to, you know, controls, actions, jump i have my jump on space bar and on scroll wheel so well you know when my fucking uh, uh, muscle memory starts kicking in and i hit space it still works but when i want to start b hopping i can always just use a uh, scroll wheel you can also silent hop up like a little elevations like this by holding shift and spamming scroll wheel you notice i'm not making any noise and if i just you know walk up casually i make noise or if i'm just jumping Here. you know i start stepping you just start running and you basically hold shift and you just spam your scroll wheel down and you can get up really fast without making any noise. That could be really helpful if you've made it through short all the way with a lurk and you just want to like get up here really quickly and you know flank the people up here and just get your easy like get your easy clips you know from the montage clips put that shit. I do the same thing I told you that I never would. Bang 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 one thing that is also really broken is jump spotting. Jump spotting is basically checking a corner with your, you know, in-air movement, with your in-air momentum. So you don't have to wide swing and walk back. You're like basically always moving and you're not just peeking and standing still. You know what I mean? You're really tappable when you do this. But when you're jump spotting, there's no way someone's holding this and, and, and goes and just fucking one taps you out of nowhere. If that happens, just report them. Honestly, use a report feature and they you'll probably get a match reset because you're definitely cheating. In order to do this, you basically just have to either go, you know, to jump this corner, you go WDS, right? You jump and press D and S and, and flick your mouse to the side you want to go to. And you basically just keep an eye on, on the spot you're jump spotting. And to do it the other way around, you just you just don't use DS, you use AS. So you WAS. 
W A S and just go the other way, you know? It's fairly simple. If you're going to practice like I do and you just kind of jump spot every corner, uh, you'll get used to it fairly quickly. Another really broken thing you can abuse in your games is silent, like silent jumping. See, I'm not making any noise. But when I jump like this, I stomp like a fucking fat elephant. Yeah, I stomp like that, that ugly girl, that ugly girlfriend, you know, at the club that always cockbox you. Yeah, that's how I fucking sound when I'm jumping. Watch this. Uh, you don't want to be that girl, you know, you don't want to be that guy, that girl. You really don't want to be that. And all you have to do in order to get that fixed is either go to the gym and lose some weight or you crouch, jump and then let go of crouch midair. See, no noise made, no noise made. Easy clap. I don't think I have to, you know, give you an in-depth tag. I don't know. It's probably the most simple thing in the game next to looking around. You crouch, jump, and let go midair. Really easy. This is if you don't let go of crouch, this happens. You jump and let go. Easy. If this was a pro guides video, I'd be telling you guys, yo, if you hold shift, your character actually doesn't make noise. And on the minimap, there's a circle that shows you how far your noise goes. Like, dude, I know, man. I know. I'm not brain dead. Like, I know. I know how to play the game. Give me some better tips, man. Another thing you probably don't know is that you can crouch jump in order to land on top of things that you usually don't make it on top of. It basically, look, this is me not crouching. It basically gives you like a little bit more elevation because you're lifting up your legs. And it just lets you make these jumps way easier with ease, you know? I think they might be possible without it. Yeah, but it just makes it way harder. Go easy on yourself. Go easy on yourself, kings. Last, but definitely not least, is crouching in gunfights. I have talked about it a million times. Look at this, guys. Look at this. All the Zane enjoyers know this already. All the stream viewers know this already. Watch the crouch key. Key you, dude. You know what? Ain't no way I'm one of those guys wide peeking main, hard crouching, and spraying praying for my life and getting one tapped to the dome. I'm the guy that goes, what? Bang, what? Bang, bang, bang. God movement, easy one taps, easy clips. You already know what's going on. You already know what we're doing. Unbind crouch from control, please just unbind it. It's really, it's just a bad habit to crouch every gunfight. You're just gonna lose every single game if you do that. Like I'm not even capping on this one. People that go, oh, well, you might throw off the enemy's crosshair placement. It doesn't matter. If I'm holding it here and you crouch, I just, I just, I do this. Oh, you're crouching? Bet. Like, you know, you start crouching. I move to the side, you with me completely. And I just tap you to the head because you can't move because you're a sitting duck out in the open, crouching, looking like, uh, I don't even know, you're looking like Quasimodo. Like, that is not it. Motherfuckers hunched over like a red guard at the VCTs, bro. Like, you can't be doing none of that, bro. You can't be caught lacking like that. To recite everything I just said, basically, counter spraying is really not as much of a big deal as people say. You can just stop and shoot. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. Jump spotting is really OP and you need to start abusing it in your games in order to get free info without having to die for it, especially clearing ops or something like that. Silent jumping is a mechanic that is really underused and that is actually really, really, really strong to get info without letting the enemies know that you're getting the info. And crouch spraying is something only silvers do and that you definitely should, you know, get out of your muscle memory as soon as possible. I stopped crouch spraying like, if, like I don't know, I unbound it and it was really uncomfortable for like the first three death matches. And then after that, you kind of just get used to it, honestly. Ever since I've stopped crouch spraying, the amount of times that I peek someone and they start crouching and I can literally look at them for four seconds and make them look dumb and then just tap them to the dome. Like, it's actually insane how many funny fucking clips you're going to get if you adapt to these tips. If you abused all of this, you know, your Iron Sage Pocket, like your Iron Pocket Sage E-Girl might actually come back to you and DM me on Discord. I'm not even trolling. If she doesn't, then that's on her. And, you know, you're better off without her, bro. Keep your chin up, King. Keep your chin up. Nonetheless, guys, I'm low-key sorry for not uploading uh, like for this much. Thank you guys so much for the support nonetheless. Like, I've been getting mad comments. Zane, come back, man. Please, dude. We missed the guys. We need those no bullshit guys. We can't be watching pro guides out here, man. We just can't. Dude. You guys are right, man. The amount of shit I've seen on YouTube these days, dude, it's just not it, bro. People really don't know how to teach. I'm here for you guys, man. If you fuck with these no bullshit guides, make sure to let me know in the comments. If you don't like pro guides and other channels talking about the most simple shit that you already know for 20 minutes, you know, farming your views, farming money, make sure to leave a comment over that, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share these videos to your shit teammate that has bullshit movement, bro. Like, share this to the guy that plays like a squirrel on a keyboard, bro. Share this to your dude that's still heart stuck in silver, that has no idea what they're doing, and that just cannot learn from these shitty videos. Help them out, you know? Help them out. Be like, yo, Zane got your back, man. Because I know I do. I know I got your back. I know I do. Nonetheless, once again, sorry for being so inconsistent. Probably back with more consistent uploads now. I hope you guys fuck with this uh, video. I hope you guys fuck with the series. Let me know what I should do next in the comments. And yeah, make sure to join the Discord. Follow the socials. They're in the description. Make sure to do your homework. Peace.